we've got a problem. There you are. Welcome back. Uh, it's another edition of Fan Mail Friday, and unfortunately, we've got some interesting circumstances. One, uh, I haven't had dinner yet, and it's really late, so I'm going to try to get through some of this. Two, look at all of this. You guys are wonderful. Holy cow. I haven't been able to get to Fan Mail Friday just because of commitments and video schedule, and it's just, it's completely, totally my fault. You've sent amazing things, I'm sure, in boxes and envelopes and packages, and I can't wait to get to them. However, it just hasn't happened. And so I'm like, legit, let's just get it done. Let's just start off right here, and then we'll move to an envelope. How about that? How about that? 3D gene design. 3D gene. 3D. 3D gene, 3D gene, okay, I think oh, inside, oh, we've got ourselves an envelope and some packing, of course, and something, hot diggity, hot diggity, what's in here? Ooh, it's a, it's a, it's a box and it is printed. It looks really good. There's another thing. Okay, let's put this box down here. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. It's got my, there's my Joel bot. It says 3D printing nerd. There's a multicolor maker coin. 50 US dollars for the kids. Self-addressed envelope. I'll find a stamp. Here's a letter. Hey, Joel. Hey, Sean. It addresses both of us. That's fantastic. I've been watching you for a few years. I want to thank you for all you've done for the 3D printing community and helping inspire me to start a small business up in my small little area. It has allowed me to help my community last year by printing over 1,000 face shield frames last year for businesses that needed them. I'm also a fan of what you do for the Seattle Children's Hospital each year. So first things first, I've enclosed $50 towards that. One of your previous Fan Mail Fridays, I learned Sean is from Michigan, which is also where I live. I live on the upper hand, though. You, know, you say where you live in Michigan on the hand, I get it. When I heard this, I thought I'd send Sean a cribbage board I designed since it's somewhat of a common game in the Midwest. I sent this in hopes he would know how to play and maybe teach you if you don't. If either of you know how to play, the instructions are easy to find online. Or if neither of you, sorry. I designed it with the idea in mind you could collapse it, take it and travel and fit a deck of cards in it as well. The other gift I've sent has that same idea of travel in mind. I designed my own version of a napkin holder that can be stored flat. I drew this one up specifically for you with your main 3DPN logo on one side and Joel bought on the other. I hope you like it. Both of these were printed on my Prusa Mark III with your Protopasta High Five Blue. And I have to say, I love how it prints and it looks, continue being you and being awesome. I look forward to hopefully getting the chance to meet you someday. High five. P.S. I'd love to know your thoughts on the Maker Coin. This Maker Coin, I think, is fantastic. It is multicolored and it has a, a higher part. So this, this G is higher on the Z or Z. So when it's printing like that, it's a little bit more. That's really cool. A cribbage game, look at, the, okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Holy cats. Oh my gosh. It's been so long since I've played. My dad, um, my dad and I used to play back when I was a kid. 15 2, 15 4, run of three for, <laughs> for seven. Oh, and this is, okay, this is the napkin holder. And let's see, the Joel bought one side, 3D printing nerd on the other. Oh, wow, with summer coming up. This is cool. You've included, like, this entire cribbage board is 3D printed. All the pieces, you've included playing cards. You've got um, the envelopes for the, for the sticker. Oh, my. This is wonderful. Holy cow. Thank you so, so very much. I'll tell you what. I don't know if Sean knows how to play cribbage. I do. So we'll have to, we'll have to take a look at this because look at, oh, my goodness. It's 3D printable, and it comes out like that. And you can play some cribbage and it fits inside. This is kind of cool. This is kind of really cool. Uh, my parents just built a, a house on a lake and so we need fun stuff to take down there. So maybe we'll do that. You know, let's get down to business though. First things first. Gene, it's really kind of you. I really appreciate you sending these right here. Believe me, both of these will get used. Your maker corn is fantastic, and it really inspires me to want to improve on mine. But really, you sent 50 US dollars for the kids. And you know what that means, Gene. 
Jean, you get stickers. Next, why don't we find ourselves one of these wonderful envelopes. And in fact, I'm gonna take this one because it looks like the Postal Service had its way with it. It's got a hole in it. This is from Holden. This is from a person named Holden. I'm just gonna finish opening the end where the hole is. There's a US $1 bill. It looks like a self-addressed stamped envelope. That's fun. A 3D print and it looks like something to read. Dear Joel, I'm writing to say thank you for getting me into this great community and hobby of 3D printing. You, Angus from Makers News, and Devin from Make Anything inspired me to ask my parents for a 3D printer. After two years of them saying no, I think I finally made them cave as I got an Ender 3 for my 19th birthday. Thank you for all the entertaining and educational content, included as a singles adapter for a record player to play the smaller seven inch discs with the large center hole. This also doubles as my maker coin in a way. It's printed on my Ender 3 at 0.2 layer meter, millimeter layer height in Amazon Basics Silk Blue PLA. Thanks, Holden. I think it's funny that uh, a 19 year old is sending me something for a record player. I know it doubles as your maker coin in a way, and honestly, you could probably customize this a little bit more, especially printed on your under three with that silky blue PLA. You're talking about a record player as a technology that predates you and me, and you're still making prints to adapt it and to make it work, so that's cool, Holden. Thank you for that. You sent a dollar for the kids, you get a self addressed stamped envelope. Let's take care of business. First things first. Holden, you've sent something incredible and it reckons back to the age old days of 45s and 33 and a third and arms and record. It's just, it's just cool. It's just really cool. It's, I don't know why I just find that cool, but I challenge you to customize it. And when you customize it, perhaps you can look to this for inspiration. What is this? Well, Holden, this is your sticker. We've done a package, we've done an envelope, now I think we do a package. And you know what we should do? We should do this. This is 3D Printing Nerd uh, by Airmail, Par Avion. This, this is a shirt. Ha 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 ha! Oh my goodness. Oh, this is wonderful. This is a shirt for, for the, real, the real Sam Prentice. This is from Sam Prentice. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. He's a wonderful creator. I, if I remember, I'll try to link him in the description. Thank you, Sam. This is awesome. <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna check how much battery we got left. 33 minutes. We have 33 minutes of battery left. So let's just, let's just keep going. Okay, package, letter, package, letter. This is from a Mark out of Olympia, Washington, neighborhood. Inside we've got a US $5 bill. I also seem to see a self-addressed stamped envelope. I like where this is headed. Oh my goodness, this is folded like crazy. Here we go. Dear 3D Printing Nerd, my name is Mark Sittler. I live in Olympia, Washington. I like the 3D RC car, it was cool. I put the sticker on my laptop. I like your YouTube channel. Here's a pic of it on my laptop. I wanna get into 3D printing. What is the cheapest 3D printer to get? A lot of times people are gonna tell you the Ender 3 platform from Creality is going to be the least expensive printer to get that gives you a, a, a bar of quality. However, the Voxelab Aquila uh, I know Chuck Hellebuck over at Film at Friday and others really like that platform. It's essentially an Ender 3 V2 for $100 less. And so you're looking at an Ender 3 V2, which is probably the best iteration of the Ender 3 right now, but for hundred bucks less. Look up the Voxel Lab Aquila. In fact, I'll put a link to it. I think you can find it on Amazon. I'll put that link in the description. I highly suggest you and anyone else that's interested, check it out. Uh, they've reached out to me, so we'll probably get one in here to the shop and do some testing with it. But people I trust have said it's inexpensive and it works well. So I have, uh, I'm, I'm comforted in recommending that to you. Well, thanks for this information right here. You do have some things that we need to address, so let's take care of business first things first. 
Mark, thanks for the note and the question, and I hope that recommendation of the Voxelab Aquila addresses your concerns about the cheapest 3D printer. I hope it finds its way to you. I hope that you get it and you print all the things, and I hope near that printer is something special. I hope it's something excellent, something I'm sending to you. You get stickers. Package, envelope, package, envelope, package. Package, package. This is from James. Self-addressed stamped envelope right up top. I'll put that right there. A note to read. And some, it looks like, packaging to keep, to keep print safe. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. These are customizable can koozies. So inside, oh. And in this one is a $20 bill. Look at that. So you, oh, this is genius. This is friggin' genius. So it's a can koozie, but they screw on and, they, and they're different sizes. So depending on the size of the caffeinated beverage that you have, you can then adapt it. Look at that, there's the middle piece. This broke a little bit. I'm gonna have to get some 3D gloop for that, but Rockstar Recovery, this is my wife's favorite. You just might, you just might have become her favorite person. And inside this one, <gasps> Shinerbach. <laughs> a buddy of mine who I started a startup company with long ago, Shinerbach was his favorite. He's from Texas and he said, you have to drink this, Joel. And I, and I grew an affinity towards it, so. You sent me, you sent me a shiner. That's amazing. Well, here's 20 as well. And that note, I think we got some things to take care of. Joel, please forgive the impersonal typed letter, but if you read a handwritten letter, you would assume I am a first grader. My handwriting hasn't improved over the 50 years and I'm okay with that. I really enjoy watching the things you get into and it has inspired me on several occasions to expand my printing horizons. Keep up the good work and accept my donation to the Seattle Children's Hospital. They also do good work and I have, I have had the opportunity to enjoy the services of my own children's hospital in Columbus, Ohio, several years ago when my daughter was little. I really hope everything turned out okay and your daughter is safe and, and let's see if you're 50, so probably a little bit older. Enclosed are a gift for you and Sean to help with your general hydration efforts. I have to admit, one was more painful to print than the other, but I made it through all right. I considered personalization, but I couldn't emboss an M on the blue and yellow adapter ring because in one configuration, the M would be a W and I just didn't feel that was right. <laughs> the design is my own and while somewhat clumsy, it is the basis of my learning process and using modeling tools. As I learned new features and dug deeper into Fusion 360, I would use this model as my test subject. So it has been through a dozen or more revisions, including a ground floor revision or two. The idea stemmed from the Yeti 16 ounce adapter, but I don't always have a 16 ounce beverage, which left the adapter ring and, or adapter ring loose and potentially misplaced. Just remove the base and attach the adapter for later use. Oh, and it's on Thingiverse. Convertible koozie, look at that. I'll put that Thingiverse link down in the description. I hope you, you go visit and you, you print it out. These are printed in Strong Hero Pet G at 0.2 layer height with a filament swaps for color and material changes so they will stand up to being left in a hot car much better than the PLA versions as I found out. Slancha, it's from Jim, AKA Morton Upshot. Oh, that is fantastic. These are wonderful, legit. These will get used. I like these and it's wonderful the story you told about these and, and how they're Pet G because you know, you've experienced PLA in a hot car before. Thank you for these. This is awesome. But more importantly, you did send in $20 for the kids and a self-addressed stamped envelope. Let's take care of business. First things first. Jim, these convertible koozies are amazing and I hope lots of people download them and print them and you get word of an army of convertible can koozies out there just keeping everyone's beverages slightly colder or warmer than they would have gotten otherwise. A lot of words. Let's just get to it. Hey, Jim, you get stickers. How about this one? I'm going to do this one because it said it was sent in March. And this is from B.W. Edwards Consulting, Inc. B.W. Edwards Consulting, Inc. Oh, look at that. Okay, inside we've got some Overture Pet G, and it is still sealed. 
Wow, okay. Overture Pet G, this is, uh, let's see if we can find the color on this. This is, um, it says transparent, transparent Pet G. And this is Overture Pet G white. White, okay. Oh, and inside we've got a note. Hey Joel, here are two spools of Pet G. I bought them, but I prefer to use PLA for my prints. I make dioramas and I have found PLA works best. Enjoy, thanks for the videos. Regards, Brett. Holy crap! Brett, thanks for this Pet G. I'm actually low on Pet G. I like Pet G and I really appreciate that. That's really kind of you. Thank you so much. One more, one more, let's do it, let's do it. One more, one more, one more, one more. This was sent, oh, okay. This was sent back in March. And this is from B. Milbor, Milburn, B. Milburn, B. Oh, wow, we sure saved something fun for last, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Almond Joy, I haven't had those in forever. Mm-hmm. And a bunny rabbit! Okay, it's a bunny rabbit and it's, it's, it's head talks. Looks like you can put candies in there and dispense it. I thought for a second there was gonna be a hole for the bunny's butt and it was gonna poop milk duds. Dear Joel, my name is Braden M. I live in Illinois. And I'm 22 years old. I currently work at a grocery store. I bet these came from the grocery store. Plus, I'm a big fan of your YouTube channel. 3D printing nerd. Oh, and Wild, Wild Rose Builds. I love Wild Rose Builds. So good. So good. Inside that box I've sent you is a 3D printed bunny that can dispense Cadbury eggs. I've included a pack of them for you so you can load the bunny up with chocolate. Also included with the stickers, could you send me something 3D printed back to my house so that I could have memorabilia of this moment when you opened my package? P.S. I added in a box of Milk Dudes because I know you like them. But unlike Sir Will, these are real. Will, thanks so much, Braden M. Main Street. Well, shoot, I mean, we gotta try this. We gotta, gotta try this. So the eggs just go in the bunny. Apparently, I suck at this really bad. You take an egg out, an egg comes down. You take an egg out, another one comes down. Oh, I guess you could just go, give me the eggs. Brayden, you're wonderful. Brayden, I'm at a bit of a crossroads because you sent a box full of wonderful things and also included with the stickers. So you assumed stickers and typically when, people, typically when people get the stickers, it's because they send a self-addressed stamped envelope and they also send a little bit of cash for Seattle Children's Hospital. So I'm at a crossroads because, well, here's the thing. I kind of want to send you stickers because you sent some candy. I love candy. So I'll tell you what, I've got one of these, but you said you wanted something 3D printed. And typically I don't bow to the demands of people I don't know. However, I think it's a unique proposition. So I found this. This is the Floalistic Chainmail. This is the sample size. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do is this. Braden, thanks for the candy. Thanks for the bunny. I was expecting a bunny that pooped out candy, but a bunny that throws up candy, just as good. Got your address. We've made a deal. We've struck an accord and Braden, you get a 3D print along with a sticker. Well, with that, I think we're gonna have to call it good. I still have plenty more packages to go. Plenty more letters to go. Really though, thanks to everybody for sending something in. It's never required, but if you want to, the address you can is in the description of every video. And listen, like, this is cool, whether it's candy, Prints, money for Seattle Children's Hospital. Someone sent me a shiner. <laughs> like, this is awesome. I really enjoy it. And I'm doing my best to get caught up. And uh, who knows what's in the rest of these. I'm kind of really excited to find out. 
But thanks again to everybody. If you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to talk to each other more. And from a safe distance, high five.